Hey, and welcome to Need to Make It. I'm Mike. So you want to route your Creality K1 or K1 Max or maybe another new Creality printer. In this video, we're going to go through exactly what you need to do to get it done. So stick around. If you've just received your printer, you're going to need to make sure you are connected to your wireless network and then remember your printer's IP address. It's always a good idea to make sure you are running the most up-to-date firmware. Some of the older versions may not allow access to the routing feature. So check that you're running the latest and the greatest. On the touchscreen, if you click the gear icon and then within the system tab, you're going to find a button called root account info. You can press that and then you will have to agree to the terms and no, you do not have a choice. The walkthrough I've been using is going to be linked below for you and it is the simplest one that I've found so far. We need to download a software to allow us to speak to and to load programs onto the printer. And the software that I like to use is called MOBA Xterm. And again, the link is below for that download. You can open up MOBA Xterm and then in the top corner, you can click session and then press SSH and SSH just means secure shell. It's a secure way to send information between computers. And in this case, your printer is a computer. Next up, you need to type in your printer's IP address into the first window. And then you check this box for a username and then you type in the word root. Next and most importantly, make sure you like and subscribe. My goal is 100,000 subscribers by 2025. And we have lots more content like this coming out. And if you like these short how to videos, make sure you let me know and I'll keep them coming. Next, it's going to ask you for your printer's password. You can change this, but I don't really recommend it. It is Creality underscore 2023, at least in this year it is. It will appear on the touch screen when you agree to rooting your printer. And when you type, nothing will appear. And that is normal. You can just press enter and you should get this message. Next up, we need to go through the walkthrough and press this copy button and then we can paste it into our SSH session. Paste in this case is a right mouse click and it will download the files needed to do the installations on your printer. And if your paste is not working for some reason, like mine wasn't, you can just restart your computer and it should work afterward. Next up, we need to copy the next section and this is how we run the installer. We can paste that and press enter. We can then type in one for install and you'll get this menu and it should give you some options. Now some of these items are required and some of them are optional. I'm going to install items one through eight. Not all of them are a necessity, but if you want to know more about what each one does in detail, you can click on the item in the list on the walkthrough and it will tell you. Lastly, we want to get this one, which is called camp and it will allow you to get more precise meshes for your parts, leading to a better first layer and your happiness level will increase. And now you can access your printer through these web UIs, which include access through your phone as well. You just need to type in your printer's IP address and then 4409 for main sail or 4408 for fluid. And it really all depends on which one you prefer. If you're using Orca Slicer, you'll just enter that exact same info into your printer's Wi-Fi button and then you'll be able to send prints directly from Orca and also be able to view your printer through the device tab as well. And if you're looking for certain files on your printer and you can't find them in the web UI, you can SSH back into your printer. And then on one side, you'll see the folder tree. And in those folders, you can find all the JSON files and config files as well. And it is really that simple. And if you run into any trouble, message me in the comments there and I can help you to get through it. Thank you to each of my wonderful patrons for helping to support this channel and making videos like this possible. And if you want to help support this channel as well, there is a link in the description below. Take care, everybody. We will see you on the next one.